be using a yellow yarn and I'll be using a three millimeter hook and my yarn I'll be doubling it because I want it I want my top a little bit thicker then first the first thing I'm going to do is make a slip knot like this then insert your open to that that yarn and make chains you're going to make a chain that is long enough to cover from one rib to the other rib um, I'm making a medium size and so I'll be making about um, making about 150 or making about 118 chains so if you want your top smaller you can just reduce and if you want your top bigger you can just add more chains so just going to continue making chains until you get to your desired length and at the end I'm going to meet you so I am done making my chains and if I am to measure it on my tape row, I'm going to get um, I'm going to get about 26 inches when stretched so just going to continue like this first to start row one I'm going to start with making um double crochet so to make double crochet you yarn over this way start your hook into the fourth chain from the hook if you count it well just insert your chain into into the fourth chain from the hook like this yarn over pull through that chain then we have three loops on our hook yarn over put you two yarn over put you remain two that's how you make double crochet very easy yarn over insert your hook into the next chain yarn over put two out of that chain Yarn over, put you two. Yarn over, put you two. So you make double crochet. So we are just going to continue making double crochet until the very end of our chain. At this point here, make sure you don't skip any chains. Just continue making double crochet. Do that, and I will meet you at the very end of this row so this is how it look we just completed the first two this is it so now to begin the second we're going to chain three turn your work and make double crochet all through the row to the very end you need to start from that very first one make double crochet Do this and I'll meet you at the very end.
so we just completed the second row and on the first row we had um about 115 115 double crochet same as the second one so just make sure your your chains end in a hold number and your chains you don't skip anyone and you're just going to continue this pattern this chain three is chain three turn your work double crochet till you get to row four that should be the fourth row I'm going to continue this pattern till you get to that row and this is row three right now so when we get there let you know So guys, we have gotten to the end of the row, and this is the end of the fourth row. This is it. And from this point, we are going to start making decrease. I, I started my decrease on the fourth row, but you can start yours on the fifth row, how long you want this part to be. So to make decrease, chain you make a chain of three turn your work make a double crochet into the first stitch like this From this point, I'm going to skip this uh, this next stitch and go into this one. Skip this one and go into this one. Exactly. This is how you make a decrease in this particular top. And from this point, you are just going to continue making double crochet in every single stitch like this do this until you get to the end of the row and at the end of the row we are going to make another decrease So we have gotten to the end of the top, like the way we made um, a decrease at this point, we are going to make a decrease at this point also. So what you just need to do is skip the second to the last stitch and make a double crochet into the last stitch like this. We skip this one and we make a double crochet into this one like this. And that's how we make a decrease on the both side. We're just going to going to continue making this pattern make a chain of three on the first chain on the first stitch make um, a double crochet then skip this next stitch and make a double crochet on the third stitch like that just continue making double crochet we have made a decrease also on this slim that's on this um six row so we are just going to continue making double crochet this way do this and i'll meet, meet you at the end of the row
So we have gotten to the end of this row and what we did at the previous row, that's what we are going to do. Okay, we are just going to skip the second to the last stitch and make a double crochet into the last stitch like this. And then we've made a decrease also. So at this point, we've made a total of six row and the first four rows were just double crochet around and we've made a, um, an additional two rows of decrease at the both side of the top so at this point we're just going to continue making decreases until you get to the um to the 15th row So this is a total of six rows. So we're just going to continue this pattern, this decrease at the both side of the top until you get to the fifteenth row. At that time this the curving parts will already be shown. Like it will be very obvious by then. Right now it's not obvious because this is just like the third row of decrease, so it's fine. So we've started the seventh row, so we are going to just do this until we get to the fifteenth row, and I'll meet you at the very end. So we have gotten to the fifteenth row, and this is what it looks like. And from this part, this is where we are going to be starting the mesh v part at the side here just at the middle so the first thing we are going to do is to fold our work into two this way and insert a stitch marker into that very middle stitch like this So from this point, we're just going to just going to make a decrease at this point and make double crochet to where we have our stitch marker and I'll meet you at that place. Remember the first stitch is a double crochet, then we skip the next stitch. And we start our hook into the third stitch. That's how we make a decrease. Make double crochet to this part and to the to where the stitch marker is, and I'll meet you there. So we've made double crochet to this point where we have the stitch marker here. So what's all what we are going to do at this first row of the um V mesh part is just to chain one and skip this stitch we inserted the stitch marker. Then we are going to make a double crochet into the next stitch like this this is what we have and from this point we are just going to continue making double crochet to the very end and remember as 
at each end of the top we are will continue making decrease do this and i'll meet you at the end So at this, at this very end, we are just going to make a decrease like this and chain 3 and we are done with this part. This is the first part that we need this first, um, first mesh stitch. So at the second part, we are going to be making two mesh stitch and all you just need to do is turn your work make a decrease at this edge and make double crochet until you get to this point here and before you get to this point i'm going to make two mesh stitch so make double crochet to this point and i'll meet you so we have gotten to the to the second row of this V mesh part and at this point we just have one last stitch before we before we get to this middle part and all what we need to do here is to chain one but we want to be making two mesh stitch instead of one like the previous one we want to be making two so we are just going to chain one skip this stitch and make a double crochet into this mesh stitch like this like this then we chain one skip this next stitch and make a double crochet into the stitch after it like this and this is it we just made the second the second row of the V mesh part so from this point you're just going to continue making double crochet so you get to this point again at this point we, we made the second one all you just need to do is um make double crochet to this end make a decrease come then make double crochet to this top again and when we get to that top we'll be making three we made one at the first row so two at the second round we'll make it there and that side is going to be increasing to the end we get to the the um to the to the upper part of the top so from here we're just going to continue making double crochet Do this till we get to this to the get till we get to the second to the last stitch before the mesh stitch at this point. Continue making double crochet to get to that point. And I'll meet you there. So we've gotten to this next row. We've made double crochet to this point where we are making the V mesh part and all we have to do here now is to make three mesh stitch unlike the previous one where we made two we just have to make three so all we need to do is skip the last stitch before the mesh stitch chain one and make a double crochet into the first mesh stitch we have here like this chain one Make a double crochet into the next mesh stitch we have. Chain one. Skip this first stitch and make a double crochet into this next stitch. Like this. And here we've made the third row of the V mesh part, and this is what we're just going to continue doing until we get to the upper part of the top so 
what we need to do is when we get to this part on the next row we're going to make four mesh stitch and the one after it five mesh stitch and the one after it six mesh stitch that's how we're going to be going in numbers so just make double crochet to the end of the row make a decrease and i'll meet you at this point in the next row So we have gotten to the um, to the fourth row where we are going to be making the V mesh part, and to start any row, to start any um, mesh stitch, all you just need to do is is to skip the stitch before the mesh stitch by chaining one. I'm making a double crochet into the mesh stitch like this that's all you need to do to begin the first um, mesh stitch and on this row we are going to be making four mesh stitch um, mesh stitch unlike the unlike the previous one where we made three so we'll just continue chain one double crochet Chain one, double crochet, chain one, skip the, this first stitch after this mesh stitch and make a double crochet into the next one, like this. So, at this point, we've made four rows of um, V mesh part and four mesh stitches so at this point we're just going to continue making a double crochet to the end where we are going to make a decrease so we are just going to continue this pattern on the next link on the next row you are going to make five mesh stitch the one after it six the one after it seven until we get to the top to the very um upper part of the top just going to continue making mesh stitches at the middle by it increasing by one that's what we that's what you have to do to make this stop So we have gotten to the tenth row of this V mesh part, and this is what it looks like. We just need like a few more rows before we end this project, and we are just going to do what we've been doing. When we get to a stage before the first previous um mesh stage, we're going to chain one and make double crochet into the mesh stitch chain one double crochet chain one double crochet like that until we have a total of the stitch of of the mesh stitch we are making and like i said we are making 10 in this row.
this is all we have so i'll make it about four to five more rows before the end of it up and i'm going to show you how it's going to look like by that time so you just continue continue making double crochet following all the procedure until you get to the desired length you want your top to be As you can see, I am done with this, um, with the final row on this top, and altogether I did about 32 rows, and this is what I have. So from this point, I'm just going to um, start the strap of the of this top. So to do that, you're going to chain as long as um, 150 to 200 chains to make this strap just something long enough to tie around your back so at the end of this year, I made a total of um, 200 um, rows or one strap so on this second strap also i'm going to make 200 rows so, so from this point you are going to slip stitch around your chain so it will be a little bit thicker so from this point you're just going to add one more chain skip that chain you added and go into the second chain then make a slip stitch So I will make a slip stitch Just continue making slip stitch until the end of the wool this to the end so i'm done making slip stitch um around the chain and i made a total of 200 chains so you are just going to make same thing same amount of chain for this side also so from this point you are going to slip stitch down to this point where you are going to start making your chains so on the first Stitch. So do this and I will meet you here. So we have gotten to the end of the row. I just made a slip stitch from this point to this other point, and at this other point, I'm just going to do what I did here. And what I did here is make a chain of of 200. So I'm not going to go into the last stitch here because I'm going to slip stitch into it after I am done with this chain. So when I get to the second to the last stitch, I'm just going to chain 200. After chain 200, make slip stitch down like the way you did, we did in the other one, like this, and I'll meet you at this point. So, you have gotten to the end of the row, as you can see, we have made um, a second strap like we did in the first one and when we get to this point all we need to do is slip stitch into the last stitch on this row like this and then we turn to the and then you chain one then we are done all we need to do is just 
cut off your yarn make sure it's long enough this is it so so this point all you need to do is fasten all your ends like this one here Let's go through the back of it. done hiding all our yarns and this is how the top is going to look like right now i am done with it and let me it's um 13 inches long in my tube so you can make yours longer or shorter now i'm just going to swing the back like inside the what I do here is um it's very very easy takes So this is what it's going to look like when we are done and right now this is it thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel if you find the video very helpful and i will meet you in the next video thank you